So I will be starting a new position as the research director for the Center for Whale Research, um, which will involve managing the long-term monitoring of the southern resident killer whale population that the center has been conducting for several decades now, along with managing new research that the center has only started in the last few years, looking at behavior with, with some new technology. Um, it's, it's work I've been doing for quite a long time in terms of the, the field work and the analysis, but as research director, I'll have more responsibilities uh, in actually managing the project and making sure everything runs smoothly and that we can continue doing this work for a very long time. Yeah, so I have worked with Southern Resident Killer Whale since 2013, um, which was kind of the first year of my undergraduate degree when I, I came out here as an intern. Um, so I've been doing working on various different projects around the Southern Residents since then. Um, and then in 2017, I began a PhD at the University of Exeter in collaboration with the Center for Whale Research, both analyzing long-term data and collecting new drone data, um, really focused on social relationships and their significance uh, for the killer whales and for con conserving killer whales. Uh, and yeah, and, and since 2017, uh, through, that, through that PhD, I kind of became a bit more embedded within the center and, and got to know the project and, and the people working on the project. And um, just, there, you know, just a bit, couldn't be happier to be involved with it. Uh, currently, I'm, I'm finishing a postdoc uh, at the University of Exeter, working on a lot of those same questions. And uh, while I while I finish that, I'll be also transitioning over to my new permanent position here at the Center for Whale Research. The number um, one priority uh, in taking the Center for Whale Research forward, uh, I think, is the continuation of this long term. Uh, monitoring of the southern residents. And there's two reasons why that's a priority. Uh, one is conservation focused and one is scientific. Um, and those, those interact, obviously. So the conservation focus is obviously the, the counting of southern residents every year and the understanding of how their social structure is changing and how the whales kind of look health-wise is, is the information we kind of need to help conserve the population. Um, if we don't know how many Southern residents there are and, and how they're doing, we have no way of understanding whether, you know, new stressors are being introduced, whether the current stressors are getting worse, or on the other side, if management actions are working. Um, so continuing to monitor the population is, is really crucial. The other reason is, is the kind of scientific reason. Um, the Center for Whale Research has been conducting ORCA survey for several decades now, but that time span is still not quite the time span of a killer whale lifetime. And if we want to understand these whales and kind of the, the way they live their lives and the ecology of these whales, we really need to be monitoring them, I mean, ideally for multiple lifetimes, but at least a single lifetime. So continuing that, that study is really crucial. Um, I'm also really excited about some of the new projects that the Center for Oil Research has been doing in the last few years. Um, I've been involved in the aerial observation project, which uses unmanned aerial systems or drones to look at killer whale behavior from the air, which lets us see a lot more of what's happening under the water, which has already helped us piece together aspects of their social lives that we hadn't understood before, which is really important um, for their conservation. These animals are, are really social and they really rely on those social relationships to get food and survive. Um, and we're gonna be learning more things as we watch them more about their foraging success, about cooperative foraging, about how those relationships change over time and with the losses of individuals. And also expanding both of those projects to look at Biggs killer whales, to look at the mammal-eating killer whales in the San Juan Islands and, and beyond. Um, who are doing quite well in, in contrast to the Southern residents and serve as, as an interesting counterexample to the decline that the Southern residents have experienced. So b between those, you know, the, the expansion into these kind of newer projects, looking at behavior and looking at the, the transients or the bigs, and the continuation of the uh, long-term monitoring of the Southern residents, there's, there's still a lot to do, and there will be a lot to do for many years uh, into the future.